Hi, Father Bob. This is Vin Scully, the voice of the Los Angeles Dodgers, but also class of Fordham 49, welcoming you indeed to Loyola Marymount and to Los Angeles. <laughs> Uh, hi, Father Lawton. This is Bob Newhart. I just wanted to join the others and welcome you to Loyola Marymount University. Uh, it's very exciting and I feel very lucky, very fortunate to be here because it's a great institution and it's a great part of the country, part of the world, so I'm excited. I first met Bob Lawton in 1999 when he was inaugurated president. Um, and we've had a wonderful relationship all these years since. I first met Father Lawton when he was an assistant dean at Georgetown College. As I worked with Bob more closely, I became more involved in science administration, eventually becoming dean of science. From Father Lawton's inauguration on, I worked very closely with him. Uh, and it was very clear the first day he set foot on our campus that he had big, bold plans for LMU. He was certainly a change maker, and what was very distinctive about his presidency is for someone who came with so many new ideas, he was really well loved and adored by the entire campus community, a really rare quality for someone who's, you know, changing the status quo. I believe we first met around 2003. I will never forget the conversation we had about the schools in the district, and Westchester High in particular, where the students were not uh, getting into college. And he responded right away. He thought it was a good idea, and it was because of him uh, that the family of schools was created in the Westchester area. Father Lawton hired me. Uh, in August 2001, and at that time I was special assistant to the president for intercultural affairs. When I came to LMU, the student population was pretty diverse. As of today, the faculty have worked very hard to diversify the academy. He believed in people. He believed in diversity. He was willing to reach out. He was willing to try new things. Early on, he decided that it was important that we uh, increase the size of our tenured and tenure track faculty. We raised sufficient funds to hire a hundred new tenure tenure track faculty, which really changed the way in which uh, we offer our academic uh, curriculum. Father Lawton was an exceptional leader. He is a person that you know people trusted because of his kindness. He was always approachable. He was very articulate in his ability to inspire people. He knew um, what people struggle with and he knew you know, what those challenges were and turned those into strengths by showing people how we would grow, how we would prosper, and how we would thrive. He's really a prince of praise and I think he's taught a lot of us the value of saying thanks. And he mentors you really through example and through occasional pearls of wisdom. I admire his leadership and his ability to mentor, to take people on like me. He knows and has always known people by their first name. Everybody on campus knew Father Lott and Father Lott knew who they were. When I would visit and we would walk into a restaurant, there all sorts of hugs, favorite table, knew the name of everybody in the restaurant. And he, I think he worked the town really well. One secret that those who know him well know is his favorite restaurant is always the one at which he ate last night. And his favorite wine is always the one that he drank last night. Unless you're out with him. And then the favorite restaurant is the one in which you're dining. The favorite wine is that which you are drinking. He was such a decisive decision maker. And I remember him always saying, we're making the right decision and let the pieces fall where they may. And that always stuck with me that that's an important quality. I think Bob has helped me learn how to be a better administrator, largely through listening well, through asking the right kinds of questions. Father Lawton was of the view that no great university uh, in the world could exist without an exceptional academic library at its core. He was a visionary. He came in with a vision of enhancing the campus and enhancing the student body. And with the William H. Hannon Library, not only was it a library building, the center of campus, but the community comes and visits it, the students visit it, and that's what he wanted. When you walk through the LMU campus, you see Bob Lawton's impact everywhere. 
I think current students should read about Father Lawton and know that he's responsible for enhancing this campus, making it a better place for them to come to college, and making it a better school. He really gave us a sense of belonging in the great institutions of the United States, really raised our profile, especially in harmony with our mission and its relationship to the city of Los Angeles, which at the same time was beginning to grow. His leadership uh, certainly has been very, very instrumental in making LMU what it is today and this community.